hi friends in our previous tutorial we have discussed about how to declare a variable what are the syntax to follow and many different types of variable and how to know the type of variable now now we'll see what are the scope of the variable whether the variable declared in the root of the script is available inside the function and what is declared in the as a local variable inside a function how it is available and how to access these variables all this we'll learn let us start with writing a simple code. I am just declaring a variable and giving a value as 4. So here is my variable and we have followed all the syntax what you discussed in the previous one. So starting with a dollar and not starting with a second character is not a number all this we have followed. So second thing is now let us declare, declare a function and I am giving next. What is a function? It is a part of the code which works independently and suppose some repetitive task is there. I will declare a function and uh, ask that to perform. So and say a percentage calculation of a student's number. So this uh, for every student I have to do. So I will use a function which does this work. So it is a repetitive code. I will keep it inside a function and work it. So we will di discuss more about that when you study functions. So now here what I am doing v1 equal to 10. What's that? I have already declared 5 but inside a function I am declaring it line number 8. Now what I will do? I will just print it. Echo. Now value. Value of value inside. Okay we know it is a variable. Value inside the function. What it is value is? I am just saying here. Sorry v1 and it now what i will do i will come out of it now say test i am running that function because once you, unless i call that function it will not execute so i am I have called it now what i am writing simple what is the value of the function outside because i am at the uh, root of it i am just giving a line break here value outside outside the function what value it carries same variable I am again v1 that's all so let's just run this and see so I will get two outputs because once the script runs the once the line number 12 comes this function will be executed and second next time the third line number 13 will be so I am just here here is my output value inside the function okay let me just slightly zoom out I hope I yeah you can see this value inside the function is 10 value outside the function is 4 what happens here we have assigned the value but when it has gone inside the function when I am printing the same name I have kept it as same it is treated as a local variable it won't read this value because I have assigned it 10 so I it will print the value as 10 only so because it's a local to that function and once it comes out this local variable is no more available. So what happened? That's why the line number 13 search for the value and print the value whatever I have written at line number 5. Then in that case, how I will access those values inside a function, what I have declared outside or previously or in the root of the script, that we'll see. To get the values inside a function, PHP gives us one assertive array globals that holds the name of the variable as key and con and content or the value also. So once the variable is declared as a global, we can access it from inside a function or outside the function, wherever it is. Now, but you may ask the question, what's a function? Okay, we'll see in detail. Uh, sorry, what's the what's the array is? We'll see in detail. Uh, but uh, right now, let's start with using it. Then I am just declaring one more variable v2 which is equal to 3. So inside the function I have kept a same thing I will continue but here what I will do I will reassign the values here. I will say globals. Globals and this is inside a it's an element in this uh, uh, assertive array. So globals v1 equal to 10. Now one once more I will say globals v2 equal to let's say 20. In, note that I have used v1 and v2 declared it at line number 5 and 6 inside the function I am doing. Now what I will do here I will come out with a, another uh, global variable. So I will say globals what I am saying now is v3 and this is equal to 
sum of these two. So, I will say globals v 1 plus again globals v 2 fine. So, this holds that value inside the function v 1 we can just see this tell me what should be the output because just for to hint v 1 we have not declared inside the function it is outside the function. So, it should not be available because it is a it is not a local variable you just let let it be like that, but what you will do we will add a line break after this because that way will it our uh, identification will be easy sorry. So, we will we will add a line break after this. Now, once it comes here, this is executed value outside. Okay, we'll see something else. Fine, let it be. Now, what what we are doing is now we'll print the v3 here. So I am saying again. Let me just copy this line, put it here. Value outside the function. I am writing it v3. But this is for our label only. Here I will print v3. But now let's do one more thing. Uh, v1 okay this is also fine because uh, value outside the function v1 what you expect v1 is 4 here we are declared but inside this as a global uh, assertive array we have changed it to 10 so let's see what the output is comes value inside the function as expected this is blank this this value is not printing the reason is this is the we have not declared inside a function as a local variable so it's not available so, local variable. Now, what happens? Value of v3, this one, though it is because we have used the global, so it is available outside. So, v3 is 30 because it is the sum value it is ta taking out. Suppose if I remove this one and only use v3, then this will not be available outside. Okay. Now, the second one v1, it is not declaring as 4, it is declaring as 10 because we have changed the value inside the function. All our variable data inside a function gets reset and every time we call the function that you will see say once you are calling this this value is set to 10. Next time I call this one this value is again set to 10 but I do not want that I want that value to return for that we have to use static variable. So, let us understand that we will just remove this uh, we will write a fresh function we will start with a function function I am saying my function you can give anything any name and inside this here it is ok I am declaring a stat uh, I am de uh, let me first declare some variables my static my static variable I am intentionally giving this this is just a name only it does not mean it will be a static. So, now I am giving a my local my underscore local variable this is also I am setting the value to 0. So, it does nothing this is a simple thing for, for my easy understanding. Now, I am adding one value to the one to that. So, my uh, I will say static variable whatever I have declared equal to again my static variable plus 1. Similarly, I will do the same thing for the my local variable equal to again my local variable plus 1 I am just adding 1 1 to that. So, it is it is 0. So, it will give me 1 that is the thing and I am just printing it. So, echo I am saying static variable my static variable this is just a string only and after that I am printing the value. So, I am saying my uh, sorry it is what? Uh, my uh, static variable. So, I am here. Now, same thing I will do it for my local variable also, but I should give a line break here. Okay, I will see echo. I am starting here. Okay, otherwise I can give a comma also to differentiate between these two values local variable. Okay, here I am saying my Uh, local why it is not uh, my local let me write it uh, here it is my local variable ok. So, my function is over now what I will ex I am expecting is 
see if I am calling my function I have to call it so this will print some values okay fine no problem let's just run this and see what any error is there or anything uh, okay static variable is one local variable is one so these two lines line number 10 and 11 is getting printed no problem this is uh, as expected now here I will just change this I will write a word static once I write a static uh, word the static here now this variable is no more a local it's a static variable now let's see what the difference in here so I am just giving a line break here to make it clear what is first and in. now again I am calling the function saving this two times I am calling it so note that this particular function or light number 5 to 12 will be executed twice with a line break in between so I am saved it and running it now you see the static variable first time when it has called it is one local variable one but the second time when it has called you see here this I am initializing to zero but this value is taken as two because it retained its previous value and the local variable is line number here this value always reset to zero and because I am adding it here so it is displaying zero plus one here it is one it is displaying but note the main key difference here is the static variable which retains its value in subsequent call you may say okay call it once more I'll just copy this line and paste it here so I am calling for it is for the third time you just see see this this is incrementing this it has retained the value of 2 and gone to whereas the local variable destroys its value once the function execution is over and it's initialized so that's that's the basic difference between a static variable and a normal variable so you may ask some question that how I will get a value in different pages this we have seen inside a function or a method or anything how you will use the values and all but what happens when I, when I am executing another page and in that page I want the values what I have declared in one page so these are all there are some super global global variables session variables cookies so these names will be available in different different pages say you have logged into a system and in every page you go you changing at the top it declares welcome your user id so it will declare welcome x welcome y all these things because it under it carries the variable from one page to the other that actually we have already discussed in that i will leave the link here at the description and at the top also you can see the link study that one that explains everything how the variables are carries between the pages and uh, okay you can from uh, on the same server to a different site also because it's all, after all it's the same script so that's all friends uh, with this we'll uh, conclude our variable section and do read that how the variables carry to different different pages and we'll further continue with uh, functions and all arrays string functions and all many things are there I'll request you please subscribe to our channel so you will be notified and uh, press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we upload new new tutorials we frequently do that and study this in detail and share it with your friends and uh, request them to subscribe also and please post your doubts suggestion questions if any have any idea in the comment section below and thank you for watching.